The next pattern is one of the most important checkmate patterns that you would need to solve many, many, many puzzles and win many, many games. It's definitely helped me a lot. See, so far, all the patterns that we saw, the king was either on the edge or the corner. But in this one, the king is in the center of the board. However, the one piece which could give a check is the queen. So this particular pattern is called the fishtail or the dovetail pattern. You see, when the king is in the center of the board, the only square it can move to when the queen gives a diagonal check is these two. It's essentially like the knight's position from the place the queen would be giving a check. Now, as long as those two squares are either controlled or blocked, it's a checkmate. So in this particular position, when queen comes to e4, it's a checkmate because all other squares is controlled by the queen itself. The only two squares it cannot control are these two. And as long as those two are blocked, it definitely is a checkmate. This is called the fishtail or the dovetail checkmate. We'll be looking more into the details later. The next checkmate is very similar to this one. The only difference being in the last one, in the fishtail, the check is diagonal. And in this case, the, the check is along the rank of file. And the two squares are very similar. It's exactly like a knight attacking those two squares. So as long as those two squares are controlled or blocked, that's a checkmate. So a fishtail is a diagonal check and a swallowtail is a check along the rank of five. But in both cases, the two squares the queen cannot control is essentially the two squares the knight would have controlled had it been a knight in the queen's place. So you just need to ensure that those two are blocked, controlled, and you have a checkmate. All right. So this is the most common checkmate pattern. Now, here's what I want you to do. In the comment section, make your guess and think, why are these checkmates named as dovetail or fishtail? I'd like to see how creative you can get. I'll see you in the next video.